They called it the Spitfire Project. It was a local solution to a pressing national crisis, a lack of PPE for medical staff in the first wave of coronavirus. Well, a team from the University of Southampton developed a protective hood, which could be worn for long periods in relative comfort. Well, the Perso, as it's called, is now being manufactured in the city and is being used in hospitals across the country. What's different about that? Fan? A small team of engineers at the University of Southampton spent much of the first lockdown working on a prototype Perso hood using parts from vacuum cleaners, among other things. First of all, everyone laughs at you. I've had people saying, have you just come from the moon? And then a little pause happens and then they say, where can I get one? When they were first trialled on the wards, medics offered the team cash to keep them. Nearly nine months later, and hospital staff are far more stretched than they were in the first wave. The new variant of the virus poses a bigger risk as it's more infectious, and there's evidence tiny particles or aerosols pose a particular risk indoors. The Perso, meanwhile, has finally been cleared for use in high-risk areas like intensive care units. I feel much better whilst wearing the Perso hood. I, I personally feel like I've got better protection. Um, you, you just feel like the continued stream of sort of fresh air that you're getting um, and the fact that you can't accidentally touch your face. The other masks are very uncomfortable and just that the instinct is that you just want to sort of keep pulling them off and, and touching them. So I personally, I think they probably, they do feel safer. In Southampton, they have a Perso cloakroom. The Trust bought 5,000. It comes as nationally 46,000 medical staff are off sick. The British Medical Association is asking for an urgent review of guidance on PPE, which currently assesses those working on COVID wards as being at a lower risk than those in critical care, meaning lower standards of protective clothing, despite the infection rate being double. Southampton is ahead of the curve, as Persos are widely used in its buildings. They work by a fan sucking air through a fine filter which can remove viruses. It's then blown down over the face. It also means patients can see the expressions of those caring for them. Indo lighting in Millbrook usually makes street lights, but they've made 15,000 Perso hoods so far. Hospitals in Berkshire, Surrey, Devon, Cumbria, Yorkshire and Scotland have all taken deliveries. The engineers who worked on the prototype are pleased it's come a long way in such a short time. To actually see them in the wild is remarkable. Um, often the work we do at the university is a long way from uh, the kind of final uh, use case. And so to see something transformed in a matter of months um, from uh, the work we did to then so it being in, 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 in widespread use is, um, has been really re rewarding. Another consignment being packed up. This one's being delivered to the Isle of Wight. Indo says it's planning to increase production 